how are we all doing today? My name is Anima and I have a Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle for you this time against Aaron. Aaron Smith on YouTube, please check him out. The link will be in the description down below as per usual. And um, Aaron and I, we play OU together. Um, and this is our third battle, I believe. Um, the second battle didn't go so well in his favor, but this one, mm, this one is a bit of a doozy. <laughs> um, let me let you know what I'm bringing, even though you can see it clearly. I should just stop talking. I am bringing a Gardevoir, Metacham, Dewblade, Vaporeon, Crawdont, and a Garchomp now. I thought, yeah, let's just bring OU as Hell Pokemon. I know Crawdont's a bit of a funny one, but meh. And Dewblade is obviously not OU, but eh, Dewblade's cool. Um, my Mega is Metacham, of course. And my Garchomp is actually Assault Vested. Max HP, Max Special... Max... <laughs> max attack and it's pretty damn good as you're gonna see um my opponent is bringing a terrakion shit scared of that a charizard a ferrothorn vaporeon espion and sableye and i was like man no offense but your team <laughs> is annoying <laughs> really annoying <laughs> um i said i wouldn't bring charizard because uh charizard's just a mess so um but aaron, aaron brought his own charizard which is like fair play on him and Sableye is one of the most annoying Pokemon on Earth. The most annoying Pokemon on Earth. If you fancy a laugh, um, feel free to check out my video. I think it's Gus uh, against Gus, the second video ever uploaded on my channel, in which a Sableye is going to give me grief. It's pretty cool. I use um, a, a competitive Nuzlocke team. So, yeah. Uh, without any further ado, let's just uh, hit battle start. Really scared of the Terrakion. Really, truly uh, frightened of the Terrakion. Beyond belief. I can't even tell you. Um, banded or Scarfed, that thing is just a demon. It can just get close combats and so on and just fuck me up. Now, I predicted my opponent to lead with Sableye because Sableye is a very common lead. So I decided to lead with my um, Choice Specs Gardevoir. And get to trace that handy dandy prankster, which is absolutely useless because I'm only using offensive moves. Go for the Moonblast and unless this Sableye is Focus Sash or something, it is dead. It is dead, 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 dead. So at that, I was really happy and feeling pretty optimistic um, because I was like, that's a major, major threat out of the way. So this Charizard comes out and um, it's a Charizard Y. Now, the Charizard my opponent brought to the last battle was a Charizard, uh, I think, because it Dragon Danced, I thought it was a Charizard X and I never got to see it eventually because he didn't um, Mega Evolve. He was trying to confound me. So I thought this one might be a Y. Uh, my opponent goes to the flamethrower and I thought I can live this because I'm special I'm quite like Gardevoir's natural special bulk is pretty damn good So I thought I'd just stay in and try and do as much damage as possible on this thing because nobody wants to switch into a flamethrower Apart from Vaporeon, but then solar beam and then oh my god, it would just be a nightmare So he predicts me switching out into Vaporeon and just goes to the solar beam I'm just gonna stay in because I don't want anybody to be taking any more damage Although in retrospect, I would have liked to switch out just to preserve Gardevoir um, Because Gardevoir is really good. It's just really good, but then it's not that fast so, eh, potato, potato, tomato, tomato, whatever. And I decide to go into my fish, who is a salt vest, so I know I can take it. Even if it's a dragon pulse situation, I know I can take it. As he goes out into the ferrothorn. Now, um, I went for the stone edge, which would obviously have killed the Charizard dead. It misses anyway. It doesn't even matter. It's a ferrothorn. But I'm packing the fire fang on this Garchomp because I actually used it in a sun team. Um, and this does a lot of damage because it's in the sun to a ferrothorn. And he goes for these stealth rocks, and these things are clutch. They really help him in this game, I think, as much as I remember. So he wants to preserve his Ferrothorn just to get some cheeky iron barbs and rocky helmet um, damage later on. And out comes this thing. I can't tell you how annoying this creature truly is. Okay, so the sunlight fades. He predicted me to go for another fire fang, which is why he went to the Vaporeon, which is why I decided to go for the Earthquake, because it would have killed the Ferrothorn anyway. Now, I thought, right. I just have to kill this thing. I am max attack. I just need to hit it. I just need to whack it real hard. And I go for the outrage and it takes it down to red. And I was like, oh god, if it has protect, then then this is this is gonna be the flavour of this battle. Um So of course I'm locked into outrage, so I have to go for it again as my opponent goes for the protect. This is gonna guarantee him the wish and actually snap me out of my outrage so I get to avoid confusion. Um, I wasn't fearing the ice beam. I actually wasn't fearing the ice beam because it was, it's not, um, it wouldn't be stab. And I'm a salt vest max HP, so I thought I can live at least one. I decided to go for the outrage again because I thought, my thinking was he's going to go for a wish. And if at any point he breaks, um, the pattern of going for wish protect, I'll be able to take him out. Um, 
even if he goes for an ice beam, I thought I'll be able to take him out if I just keep going for outrage. So I, that's exactly what I decided to do, and we're gonna see a very boring back and forth of this wish protect. Um, I'm not, I'm not hating on my opponent whatsoever. It's like, it's like a valid tactic, but I just personally find the tactic, um, I just find the tactic annoying, as viable as it is. It's, on, it's, it feels like, um, like a, it's like toxic stall Gliscor, although like less annoying in my opinion. Um, I just don't like stall that much. So I hate the game, not the player. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're gonna see this Wish Protect stuff again, and yep, I'm gonna continuously keep snapping out of my Outrage because of the Protect that's happening, and yeah, my opponent is gonna be able to get back to close enough to full health, um, and you're gonna see this as a theme in the battle where I feel like Aaron is very concerned with keeping his uh, his Pokemon in in good health, and that's that's an obvious and fine concern that people can have. But um, I feel like he did it quite a lot in this match. So he goes to the Ice Beam, and I told you I could live it because it's not Stab, um, and this actually does yeah. So it's good. It's really good. Um, so I thought, yes, great, I can just hit him again, I can just go for an Outrage. But he goes for the Smart Play, goes for Protect, and because of that, he's gonna be able to, um... He's gonna be able to get just a bit more Lefty's Recovery, and even if my Outrage lands, it's not gonna... It won't, you know, it won't do an awful lot. Now, I completely forgot that I was even confused, because for some reason it didn't break, um... It didn't, it didn't break it, I guess because I managed to get the last Outrage off. So I got the confusion, I guess. I'm not really sure how it, how it works. So he goes for another wish. He goes for another wish. And I am thoroughly bored of this, so I decided to switch out and go into my Dewblade. This was not a good play. This wasn't a good play. I was just um, bored and perturbed <laughs> and thought I might be able to do something more with this thing. Um, the Vaporeon that I typically run is a mixed defender or canting more towards special defense. Obviously this Vaporeon is canted towards defense, which I should have taken into account and should have switched out accordingly, but I don't really think on this team, um, past Gardevoir, I didn't really have any solid special attackers um, that I can remember right now, so I was like, oh fuck it, let's just, let's just go for Swords Dance and let's just try and ram this thing as hard as I can. But yeah, you're gonna see the Scald and I was like, oh my god, don't burn. And it does a good amount of damage um, but I'm not invested in special defense at all. My Eviolite is and max HP is the only bulk that I have and um, the wish is gonna Is gonna help it and I can see this is going absolutely nowhere. At least I tried something else. I decided to go into my Jacuzzi uh, My own Vaporeon while my opponent. I think he actually predicts this. Yeah, he goes to the Ice Beam predicting me to go into my Vaporeon and This didn't really do anything, but it did freeze. It doesn't matter because I have Scald and I don't really care about scalding a Vaporeon because we both have leftovers and if we're both just sitting here it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. So I knew he'd get the water absorb, it's fine. Um, yeah, but it, it thaws me out so that was the main thing. And this... <sighs> this is just tragic. So my opponent withdraws and goes into his Charizard and um, passing the wish. Now this is obviously just, this is obviously terrible. This is obviously terrible for me. Um, I'm gonna get my own wish off, but I don't really think I'm gonna be surviving a solar beam anytime, so yeah. <laughs> well actually, I thought I could live one. I thought I'd be able to live at least one and be able to get off a skull, but the thing is it's in the sun, so it's not gonna be doing an awful lot of damage anyway. So, um, Charizard has absolutely no worries, it can just go for a solid beam as I go into Starfish just to sack it off as I try and figure out what else to do. Actually I think he might go, yeah he might go for a Dragon Pulse, um, but it doesn't really matter. Fish was at low enough health where a solid beam would have taken him out anyway regardless. So um, Fish gets taken out. My Starfish, my Starfish! As I go out into Reese and I think I made a decision here, right, this was an active decision to try and stall out the sun. Um, so I knew he'd go for the flamethrower, so I went into my Vaporeon, who could take the flamethrower. And he does indeed go for the flamethrower. And so since he's staring at a Vaporeon, he's gonna go for Solar Beam, so I decided to go back out into my Dewblade. Um, 
See, this is the kind of ridiculousness you have to you have to navigate <laughs> when you're faced with a Charizard Y. But like, fair enough. Like Charizard Y is just really fucking strong, and um, I use one from time to time. So, so um, this Solar Beam is gonna hit Reese harder than I would have liked, which is very, very, very sad. And um, as you're gonna see, yeah, it does over half the amount of remaining HP I have. So all I can do is stay in and go for a Shadow Sneak. My intention was, if it didn't, was to stay in anyway, predicting him to go for another Solar Beam, predicting me to go out into Vaporeon, predict, 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 and um, which he does do. But regardless of of uh, of my predictions, it doesn't even matter if I could guess what he's doing because. Um, because Pokemon are still going to faint, so I can't save them, which is sad, but the sun does fade. And now I make a very bizarre play here. I was really afraid of the Air Slash killing me. I was very afraid of the Air Slash killing me, even though I don't think it actually would have. So I went for the Aqua Jet. This is a bad play. I should have gone for the Dragon Dance because I would have been able to outspeed the Charizard and be able to do more to it. Um, if I'd gone for the Dragon Dance, I could have just gone for the knockoff on the Ferrothorn, and I would have been, or even, or even gone for a second Dragon Dance. There's nothing that the Ferrothorn would have been able to do to kill me unless it was packing Power Whip. Um, and even so, um, so the Charizard is going to bring out the Sun again, and the most I can really do at this point is just go for another Aqua Jet. Um, I really just thought that's it. <laughs> I really thought this is it. Um, yeah, I think I think everyone's. Just, I think we're not going to be able to do this, because um, I just thought combined with the Stealth Rocks, a Flamethrower in the Sun is just going to kill Mega Metacham outright. So, if I would have had an opportunity to Mega Evolve Metacham, I would have been able to at least chance a Speed Tie with the Charizard and possibly take it out. So I decided to go into my Vaporeon and and he makes a play that cost him the ease of this game as he goes out into his Vaporeon. Now I'm thinking he wanted to do... he just wanted to be immune to the water absorb and wasn't confident that a um, that a solar beam would kill. But um, I didn't do the calcs or anything so I don't know if a solar beam would kill um, at the range of HP I'm at but... Mm, but we'll never know! So he goes for a wish of his own and at this point I'm like, okay, right, well, I just have to really play carefully. I just have to play very carefully. Um, so my opponent withdraws and I decided to go for the Scald, I believe. And this is actually enough to take out the Charizard. And that puts a severe dent in my opponent's offensive potential. So that I'm not really sh like as I said earlier. Um, Aaron seemed to want to really heal his Pokemon this game, and I don't think it was um, I don't think it was the optimal play in that situation. Um, but never mind what I think. I'm gonna go for the wish as my opponent goes for a yawn. So next turn I'm gonna be asleep. But if I want anybody to be asleep, it's Vaporeon. It's fine. As he goes for a dazzling gleam, and this does not much because I'm mixed and got really good bulk. And I get the Scald Crit Burn. <laughs> Vaporeon is pissed off. I'm sorry about that. I am. I'm sorry about that. That's like... It's Scald Crit Burn. And the reason I'm apologizing for this is because he... Later on in the match, you're going to see the amount of Scalds he goes for and the amount of burns he doesn't get. Well, I got like a Crit Burn on like my second or third Scald of the game. So I'm fast asleep. And uh, my opponent decides to go for a Wish and then a Psychic. Um, but as you're going to see, my Vaporeon is fucking angry about all this and actually wakes up. It's not nap time, what are you talking about? It's inappropriate. And he goes for the Scald, so my opponent's Wish is not going to be able to land on anything. It's not going to prove useful. Um, so that's a Scald Crit Burn and a second turn Wake. Jacuzzi is pissed off! You do not want to mess with this bathtub, seriously. Um, so my opponent goes into Titus. This is, we can't do anything to each other. We can't do anything. We can do sweet bugger all to each other. I can't emphasize enough how little we can do to each other. This battle actually lasted in excess of about 40 to 50 minutes. <laughs> I can't tell you how long this lasted. Seriously, I was like, I was losing years of my life to this battle. <laughs> um... And so we're gonna just gonna go for ice beams because it's the only thing we can do because we absorb each other's stab and we don't have toxic. Um, but my 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 final move is actually yawn. 
Um, not yawn, it's actually roar. So I'm gonna um, utilize that at some point. <sighs> and I think I think his last Pokemon here is um, is the Terrakion and the Vaporeon. So we're gonna go for the Ice Beam again. I can't tell you how many Ice Beams, how many Scalds. So he gets he gets frozen. It doesn't even matter because he's just gonna do the same play I did earlier and just go for the Scald and thaw himself out. So. <laughs> It's one of those battles. Again, I don't begrudge my opponent. I don't begrudge Aaron at all. It's just the nature of battles like this is just... It's just a tragedy. It's just a tragedy. Um, so I'm going to go for another Ice Beam surprise surprise. And it does a whopping 2%. Which I was really proud of that damage. I don't know about you. Um, <laughs> I do actually... Yeah. So my opponent gets bored of this back and forth, and rightly so, and switches out into the Terrakion. And I went for the Ice Beam, kind of guessing that it would just become a PP stall. But this amount of damage, I feel, was incredibly important. It was incredibly important. Um, he might have he might have predicted me going out into Medicham. Um, he might have predicted me going out into Medicham. In which case, I would have been stuffed. But... I'm able to get um, I'm able to get a bit of damage on the Terrakion and ooh, sorry I think we're gonna we're gonna be able to see that that damage was important towards the end of this battle at least I think it was I don't think mm, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll tell you I'll tell you when it happens <laughs> um, so we got this ice beam lefties ice beam lefties I'm telling you this is like the battle of the century <laughs> I I was going insane. I actually live comped this, but it was just it was just too long. It was just too long for me to post with too little happening. So I go for the roar just to get just a bit of variety as as Terrakion gets dragged out. So I think okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for um just gonna go for a scald because I know that one on one that Vaporeon will be able to do something to the Terrakion. I know I know that one on one Vaporeon can do it. So I just go for a roar, predicting him to switch out again. Um, at least I think I predicted that. <laughs> there would have been no point in me roaring. I hope I didn't say anything to the contrary just a minute ago. I'm losing track even now. I'm losing track even now as I'm looking at this postcom. I'm losing track even now. So, um, so the tracker gets dragged out again, and Titus comes out again as I go for a scald again. So the same plays are happening, and um, yeah, yeah. At some point, at some point, something has got to give. Now, in my mind, I think he's gone for more wishes and protects than I have. Uh, well, I don't have any protects, so he's gone for more wishes and more, um, more moves in general than I have. So I think I can. I'm going to try and PP stall. I'm going to PP stall. So thankfully, with my large reserves of PP, oh god, <laughs> don't quote that. <laughs> I decide to go out into my Medicham, being bored of all this shenan all these shenanigans, as he actually predicts that very nicely and goes for a Scald the one time. So really good play on his behalf, but he doesn't get the burn, and this is incredibly important. So I'm like, right, I just need to punch this thing like right now. So I Mega Evolve, and I'm like, I need I'm just gonna hit it and get all my HP back anyway. It doesn't matter if he burns me. I don't even like it's fine. Just like I don't I don't mind. I don't mind anymore, just like, make it stop! <laughs> so my opponent goes for the Protect, just to get, like, I don't know. He's on full health, but... Mm. I go for the Drain Punch, and it does about half, and... And he goes for a Wish. Um, yeah, so he goes, he goes for a Wish, and... I think he's probably just gonna go for Protect again. Which is exactly what happens, but I'm like, great, I, I just need to sit here and punch this thing. I just need to sit here and punch it to death. Like, I have, what, I have like a load more drain punches. Um, it's fine, so I just go for a drain punch again and manage to get back to full health because of this. Um, a slightly lower roll than before as it does the last punch, took it down to yellow, as this one is going to take it to just a little bit above halfway as he goes for a wish again. Um... I get the feeling he's probably gonna scald this turn since he's he's at a good amount of HP. Um, so I just whatever. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna vary my moves right now. I just decide to go for a drain punch as he goes for a scald. Now this, this, 
burn did not land and I was thanking my lucky stars. I was thanking my lucky stars. I was like, Jesus Christ, if a burn lands at any time, I am bollocks. Um, go for another drain punch. And I think he's probably just going to go for like another wish or something. At some point, he just needs to go for a scald again. Thankfully, now is the point. So he goes for another scald and doesn't get the burn as I am able um, next turn to get off like... Well, regardless of his protects, um, I'm going to be able to do enough damage now, as he is low enough, I'm going to be able to take him out, so I I'm fine, Just let's just keep going for Skull. Uh, pfft, let's just keep going for Drain Punch. And so, yeah, so he's at, um, so he, he wants to preserve his Vaporeon, and he makes the play of going into Terrakion, who is going to take a Drain Punch to the face, super effective, stab, pure power. At the range of HP he was at from the Ice Beam from earlier, I think perhaps he might have had a chance to live. But I'm not sure, I'm not really familiar with Terrakion at all. And this um, Drain Punch is actually enough to take it out. And that is going to be the game because Medicham can deal with the Titus one-on-one. -on -one. So, wow, that was such a long game. It was such a long game. I couldn't post a live of it because, it, because of the... Um, the, the stall war that was happening um, but that was a very close game so you know great game Aaron um, I think if you hadn't switched out Charizard I would have I would have probably um, I wouldn't have been able to win that <laughs> but seriously check him out guys he's a good player um, definitely put me in a seriously tight spot just then we were <laughs> Um, if you enjoyed this battle, oh, Aaron's link will be in the description below, so please, go and check him out. Do it. Okay? <laughs> Before I forget. If you enjoyed this battle, if you liked this battle, if you feel like in the mood to talk to me, then please leave a like or a comment. Obviously, obviously you don't have to, but I would super, super appreciate it if you would. I read every comment. I will respond to you. I will chat with you. Like, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy going back and forth with you guys. It's really nice. It's really fun. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this, and I think you should take very good care of yourselves. I will see you soon. Bye-bye!